I originally uh, asked Lalo Schifrin to do the music score, and I played for Lalo some of the contemporary classical music that I was listening to at that time by composers like Penderecki, uh, Hans Werner Henze, George Crumb, and this was kind of 12-tone or atonal, what we call serial music, and it was not about melody. It was about sensation. It was about feeling. It was music that was like the cold hand on the back of your neck. The tubular bells came about because after I had put this score together, I wanted something that was like a nursery rhyme, vaguely like a child's kind of nursery rhyme, like Brahms' lullaby, played solo on the piano, you know, but which was very melodic and nostalgic and reminiscent of childhood, you know, uh, uh, da da dum, da da dum, da 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 da. That's what I had. My, I should keep my day job. Don't yeah, you think? <laughs> uh, but given, but, but give, put that music put in this. Movie. I wanted that imposed over the serial music score in some way, but I didn't want to use Brahms' lullaby because I felt it was a, a cliche, and so I, I went into the office of the music director at Warner Brothers. I t described to Larry what I was looking for, and he said, geez, I don't know anything else like that. But he said, look, I got a few thousand uh, recordings back in there. Why don't you just find some time and go in there and listen to stuff? And I'm taking these huge platters, which were called electrical transcriptions. They were like LPs, but not really commercial LPs. And I'm <clears throat> playing each one of them, listening, few bars off, few bars. <clears throat> one of them was something called Tubular Bells, which was recorded in England by a brand new recording company called Virgin Records. And uh, they had recorded this and were trying to get Warner Brothers to release it in the United States. And it was sitting on a pile with about a thousand other submissions. And I came to it, and again, there's a, it's a gift from the movie God, very often. I came to this, and I put it on, and there's tubular bells, that theme. And then this guy starts talking, Mike Oldfield, and narrating. And I didn't want any of that, but that was exactly what I wanted, those opening bars of music as a kind of signature in a couple of places that would give you the notion of childhood nostalgia. To this day, I have never met Mike Oldfield. I've never spoken to him on the phone. The recording has made them millions and millions of dollars. Uh, the album sold over a million, you know, based on that, not based on the music of Krzysztof Penderecki. Right. But that theme caught.